Okay, uh, to you. So we're multiplying. Um, remember when you're multiplying radicals, the outside numbers multiply, inside numbers multiply. So 4 times 12 is 48. And then 4 times 9, which are both perfect squares. So you could have just done it first or second. And then we know that the square root of 36 is a perfect square of 6. What did I just do? It is 288. Now, if you're not like me and you recognize there are perfect squares before you started, you could have just typed this in your calculator. Not like that. What am I doing? And you get the same thing. Okay, if you look at V, um, remember they have to have a common denominator before you can add. Well, this has X minus 4. This doesn't, so this needs an X minus 4. What I do to the bottom, I also have to do to the top. This has an X plus 3 for this needs an X plus 3. So if this... And now they both have a common denominator of X plus 3 x minus 4. So now I have to simplify the top. And I always like to, sim to simplify the top separately so I'm not rewriting the denominator a million times. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. So then I combine my like terms and I get 5x minus 6, which doesn't combine anything, or sorry, doesn't simplify or factor or anything, so there's your answer. There's no GCF, nothing to take out, so that just stays what it is. Okay, then if we look at W, um, we need to break these down. Um, I know I already have a 2, so I'm going to bring that down so I don't forget about it. Then I have 2 times 10, 2 times 5. Well, it's a square root, and I know I have a set of 2, that, so I'm going to take out a 2, and I have a 5 left over. Minus, I don't have a number in front, so I'm not worried, but I know that 5 goes into this times 45 divided by 5. 9, okay, I was right. 3 and 3, so I get to take a 3 out. And I have 5 left over. Plus, I already have a 3 there, so I'm going to put it there so I don't forget about it. I know that 2 and 45, no. Yes, okay, I'm right. And then 5 and 3, there's probably 5 and 9. And three and three. So I know I get to take a three out, but this one has a five and a two left over. So remember, I have to multiply those back and put them back inside. So knowing that, here's four square root of five minus three square root of five plus nine square root of ten. And the only thing I can combine are my like terms. So we have one square root of five plus 9 squared to 10.